bow as a man, you know what I'm saying? Fellas, get your feet together, bam. Now see, see, I'm the one that's out here getting the fresh pedicure. You see it? Platinum toes out here. Bam! You see it? Yeah, I got the best toes in the primate gang, you know what I'm saying? I'm the one that's out here confidently getting his toes done. Bow! As a man, you know what I'm saying? Fellas, get your feet together. Bam! Now, see, see, I'm... Please subscribe. Good morning, 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 ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Dave Natch. I speak stocks. Today is Fire Friday, August 19th, and in today's video, I have one play, one play for you, and one to put on stock. But before I go into the plays, let me delve into yesterday's recap of the overall markets. The Nasdaq closed up 0.21% yesterday, sitting at 12,965. The Dow. They closed up a measly 0.05%, ending out the day at 33,999, the Dow. Apple, Apple closed up 0.23%, sitting at $174.15, pennies. Apple. The big winner yesterday, Drug, D-R-U-G. The stock closed up 135% at $2.17. The stock opened at 118 and spiked as high as... 475, 475. The volume on the day, 119 million shares exchange hands compare and contrast to their average volume of a measly 50K drug. The company came out with news regarding this spike, saying that they have no reason whatsoever why the stock spiked and also the volume increased. D-R-U-G. Let's jump right into it. Please hammer like. Please subscribe to the channel. Around here we find supernova movers early. Dave's play is the place to be. A-G-L-E. Dave's play today. A-G-L-E. This one is a SP play. In and out to grab and go one and move. The stock is up 84% thus far in the pre-market. It's currently sitting at 92 cents. The higher day thus far in the pre. $1.20. If this one retracts below 65 cents, this might be a no-go today. The company came out with EMA News. That's the European version of FDA, okay? European Medicine Agency. Uh, go ahead and read up the news on your own time, your own term. This one is in the biotech space headquarters out of Texas. Let's kick the tires. We're a market cap of 32 million. This is AGLE. They have 35 million in the float. 2% of the float are held by insiders. 87% of the float institution and 2% shorts. Their revenue is 7 million. Their revenue per share is <laughs> 0 0.10. They have a total cash in hand of 89 million. 89 million in cash. 5 million in debt, 5 million in total debt, okay? Their current ratio is sitting at a healthy 6.09 AGLE. Please put on stock today, SMMT. This one is an MT play. This one has room to the upside. The stock is up 52% at $1.52 thus far in the pre-markets on insider buying, insider buying news. There's only one reason why directors and officers buy their own stock it's because they think it's undervalued and it's going up okay they could sell for whatever whatever reason they could they want to buy a new yacht they want to buy a new porsche they want to buy a new house you know but it's one reason to buy and it's because they think it's undervalued smmt the higher day thus far in the pre-markets is a dollar 85 185 all right the stock made a low of 98 cents yesterday, very close to their 52 week low of 88 cents. That's 10 cents shorts there. So bottom fishing buying going on. This one is in the biotech space headquarters out of Massachusetts. Okay. Let's get the tires. They were a market cap of 203 million. They have 62 million in the float. 36% of the float are held by insiders. Insiders are directors and officers of the company. 
4% institution and short size 3% of the float. This is SMMT. Their quarterly revenue growth is up 312% year over year. Let me say that one more time. Their quarterly revenue growth is up 312% year over year. Their gross profit is 2 million. They have a total cash of 57 million and a total debt of 27 million. 57 million in cash, 27 million in debt. Their current ratio is sitting healthy at 5.23 SMMT. That's all I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at WT for my stock alerts. In the meantime, in between time, always protect your neck. Always set a stop loss. Do not invest more than you're willing to lose. And whenever you see some profits, take some profits because now you see them, now you don't. Enjoy your weekend. I'll see you next time. And I'm out. Boom, bam. Take care of your downside. Let your upside take care of itself. Make your next trade your best trade. Be safe. Do remember, if you wish to open a trading account, check out my Webull link below. You will get some free stocks. Minimum deposit required is just one penny, one penny only. Also, pre-market hours trading starts at 4 a.m. sharp. 4 a.m. sharp with Webull. Webull only, the way to go. Pre-market hours trading is very risky. It's not for the risk averse. I thank you for watching. Dave Natch, I'm out.